on the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Illinois basketball hasn't lost three straight games all season. Michigan State hasn't lost four games in a row since 2007. That's what's on the line tonight as both teams look to get out of a mid-season funk. Orange out, sold out crowd at State Farm Center, and it saw the Spartans absolutely dominate early. Rocket Watts stop and pop. Sparty out to a great start, keeping Illinois scoreless for nearly four minutes to open the game. It was 8 nothing. Tevian Jones, his first three of the year gets the Illini on the board and then DeMonte Williams with a three if you had Tev and Monte making the first two field goals of the night go buy a lottery ticket and collect your winnings nobody saw that coming nobody really saw this coming either 19-7 Michigan State after a Xavier Tillman dunk extends that lead Illini can't light a fire in the first half it was 24-12 off the Watts and one the Frazier charge attempt is no good they take their biggest half of the biggest lead of the first half then kipper nichols with a little runner starting to get the crowd into it a little little bit alan griffin the steal and one to get some juice but just an awful first 20 for the alana they shoot just 26 percent from the field no alana had more than one field goal after the half it's aaron henry for three the lead was up to 20 but that's when Illinois makes its move. Io DeSumo gives the Illini the lead late. Down 20, now they lead with just a couple of minutes left. But it's this guy, Xavier Tillman, once again. Nobody blocks out off the Cassius Winston miss. Io with a chance to win it, but he goes down, grabs his left knee, and that's it. Illinois loses an absolute heartbreaker, a chance to come back from 20 down but they can't get it done as they fall 70 to 69. The final 21 for Watts, 17 for Iowa, and 15 for Belize. Feliz, but just a little bit short. Let's go right back out to State Farm Center where WCI 3s Craig Schott joins us now live. Craig, let's get right to it. What did you see from Iowa there? I know you were just a couple of feet away from him on the court when he went down. Yeah, Io got the ball with about six seconds left. Length of the floor to go. He started driving right in front of the Illinois bench. And you can still see the marks from his shoes right here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's blue marks on the floor right here where he went down, holding his left knee. He was down for quite a while before getting up. He had to be carried off the floor into the tunnel by coaches and teammates, holding his left knee, not putting any weight on his left knee. It's really sad because he led the Illini comeback, 17 points and nine rebounds. Played really well in that second half to lead them back, but uh, not looking Looking good for the Illini guard right now. Uh, could be out for a while, although no, don't want to speculate on any injuries, but it looked pretty serious, and this building was quiet. M maybe the quietest I've ever heard this building. It went from really, really loud to really, really quiet in a really quick time. Reporting live in the State Farm Center for your Illini Nation, Craig Show, WCI 3 Sports. All right, Craig, we will have Coach Underwood's presser live on our digital channels. Look for that on an update on I.O. Certainly big news there for the Orange and Blue. High School Girls Hoops tonight. Region